So just recently, Apostle Mosai started this 31 days USA prayer for President Trump. That was a day 22 of it. Now, um, um, it was quite shock shocking for some people because um, they've never seen our Mosai do this. And as you can tell, one misconception you must clear is this was something that was ongoing. So it's been almost like 22 days now. Now, people had comments like, those of you who are offended because the man of God is praying for Trump, you can go and organize your own prayers and pray for Kamala. It's as simple as that. As that. And in response to this, um, people said they were not offended. It's just concerning that he didn't organize for Nigeria. But well, and a lot of people are asking if he's speaking from knowledge or just rambling incoherently. People are agreeing also, seeing um, that long live President Trump, among many other things. And we had so many bitter people, God knows what he is doing. If Apostle is speaking in his own accord, it will come to light. Now, I think um, there's um, something not new or something because I've seen Aramosai do the same for Nigeria. Yeah, I'll share screenshots of that with you. He organizing prayers for Nigerians. So I don't know why someone will even be saying that the hate is just too much, you know. But anyway, um, let's listen to the prophecy and what he had to say about Donald Trump. Even though um, explicitly not mentioned the name, but we could see um, he was praying for the anointed to be chosen. So let's listen to him and um, we'll be back in a second. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> this is the Lord's war. So we have to revive the Lord's man. The battle before us will be fought by intercessors and prophets. So I am crying out to all the prophets of America. There is a letter on your table. I'm crying out to all the intercessors of this nation. There is a letter on your table. I'm crying out to the intercessors of Africa because we need the strength of African intercession to support the United States at this time. There is a letter on your table. If you are still a prophet in this nation, you cannot sleep now. Your office has been activated. The name of the Lord has been blasphemed. It's a day of rebuke. Our faith is on the line. This is a day of trouble. The only thing lacking, no prophet, is that our capacity for travail is insufficient. So when travail is insufficient, the substance of the destiny can form in the realm of the spirit but the vehicle through which it will be translated into the realm of the natural is travail when travail is insufficient even though the purpose of god is known the agenda of god is fully articulated the manifestation will have a challenge why because of a day of trouble because of a day of rebuke because of a day of blasphemy that's why we are here today. So when we were coming to America, when was that? When did we come? We came in July. And before we came in July, we began to labor in prayers. And I saw a horde of witches, a company of witches in satanic intercession. And the effect of the intercession was building something like a pyramid high into the heavens. I hope you know Jesus was the one that told his disciples tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye are endued with power from on high there's something that is going to come from on high but until there is sufficient travail it will not find expression so it's not enough for us to know what God's will is many times we know God's will God's will that is still in the realm of the spirit can be delayed it cannot be denied, but it can be delayed. It can be pushed into beyond our own lifetime. And in those days, complications can take place. Are you there? He said, go to Jerusalem and tarry. Go and wait. You know, for those of you that have been in corporate environments, you know how the notice of an appointment looks like. It carries a date. It carries a venue. And it carries a time. What Jesus was telling them in the book of Luke chapter 24 was a notice of an appointment. 
but unfortunately this notice of an appointment only carries the location it doesn't carry the date and it doesn't carry the time of appointment so how does jesus expect them to be present for the appointment he said tarry ye that's the key you don't need to know the date you don't need to know the time but if you tarry there is no way you will miss a collision with heaven there is something that earth does in order for those things that have been programmed from the heavens to find expression are you there prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference and so what you find in the book of genesis when the bible says that the spirit of the lord was brooding over the face of the waters anytime the spirit begins to brood he wants to produce life it's just like a woman she's in travail to give birth it is life she wants to produce that is the reason for the travail. so and travail did not is not in is not is not native with the natural realm the reason why there's travail in the natural realm is because there's travail in the spiritual realm. the reason why there's war on earth is because there was war in heaven mm. wow. the reason why there are watchers on earth is because there are watchers in heaven so the reason why there's travail on earth is because there is travail in the heavens so the spirit of the lord was brooding upon the face of the waters when he broods that way he produces life when he broods that way out of the womb of his brooding you can see new life with comfort hallelujah so it doesn't matter how much mileage darkness and death has covered if we can bring the technology of brooding of groaning new life can be released Amen. darkness will take hold of a territory until the sun's image you see remember the ministry of jesus the land of zabulon the land of natali there were people that dwelt in darkness but when the sun came The bondage of corruption have taken over Naphtali. Naphtali had become something else. It had become dissociated completely from the original purpose of God. And that kind of, that, that reality will continue until one of the sons shows up. Then the destiny of Naphtali can be recovered. The prophetic purpose behind Naphtali can be realized. So there are nations that will wallow in darkness until one of the sons. That's why God gives leaders to nations. Any leader that his hand is upon, there is a redemptive and are you there? Yes. There is a redemptive dimension that is upon that individual to realize the prophetic destiny of that nation. Come with me. Because the way this message is sweet, we are we are not seeing we are not seeing groaning. Let me bring groaning back. The reason why I came here is because of groaning. <laughs> for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not in worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us so he spoke about a certain suffering this underlying sufferings because that's what the believer doesn't want to hear that uh, you suffer and you don't know that following jesus means suffer means suffering because when you begin to follow jesus he won't allow you to do what you want to do he will prescribe for you what to do which may be what you don't want to do uh, um, um, he told peter he said when you were young you were, went everywhere you wanted to go but now you are old someone leads you by the hand and takes you to a place you don't want to go that's suffering i know if, if you had a choice you would like to be on one of the caribbean islands with with spectacle under an umbrella just saying glory to god oh, hallelujah All right. No one wants to be in a prayer meeting. Oh, may the Lord give you understanding. Since, since you are not accepting, let me keep quiet. Let me keep. That's what your flesh wants. But the Holy Ghost is saying, we need to tarry in prayer. Amen. So you will need to die to that desire so that you can align with God. Amen. Walking with the spirit being in alignment is suffering. Wow. 
we need to put everyone here on a, a plane delta airway straight to nigeria then i will take you to the woods so that you can see how people serve satan wow he's suffering wow. a real warlock cannot sleep in the night a true warlock cannot sleep in the night and there are ranks you arrive at in wizardry that your back is not supposed to touch the bed so when you sleep the way you're sitting up will now put a stool and then you rest your leg up on it that's how you sleep because if you sleep flat you can be seen by another way is that is that not suffering try this try that there's no you're not with me you're not. there's no one that serves a spirit that does not suffer so that myth that myth we have in america about convenience is not from god it's not from god it's from the fallen nature it's a prescription from the fallen nature because if you are going to go with the spirit you are going to suffer so it says to us that the sufferings of this present time the thing about suffering or by by reason of the instruction of a spirit being is that it produces some results that you cannot get any other way wow. that's why i will fast because my fasting will produce something that my intellect cannot produce in the spirit you attain to your greatest potential but in the flesh you attain to your least potential wow. the sufferings of this present time the bible says it's nothing to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us so he just spoke in parables he wants to explain the meaning of what he just said he said for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of god for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope because the creature itself shall also be delivered from what the bondage so you still remember that terminology only the sons of god have the stature to deliver the creature from the bondage of corruption whenever you see a nation are you are you there yes if they if people that the hand of god is upon are not available then you begin to see the bondage of corruption in policies in the direction the nation is going the bondage of corruption begins to take place begins to begins to take hold and that bondage of corruption will continue in that train from 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 one level of abomination to another level of abomination one level of darkness to another level of darkness and the situation will continue the only people that have the authority to change it as sons because the hand of god is upon them they can begin to reverse the bondage Amen. of corruption Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Lord. if you go to the book of zechariah go to the book of zephaniah you are going to find some angels that their business is measurement just measurement that's all they do when you yield to god god gains more ground so there's a new measurement when you yield to the flesh god loses ground so there's a new measurement and because we are not stable they they are, they are at work from morning to night <laughs> and I, <laughs> there are new results every day because of our instability you've moved you've moved in the flesh you've moved you've moved hey so there's a measurement the new measurement is the ground that god has to work with and then you decide you repent you weep that's for mercy you come for 31 days prayer and pastor he's you know the way you preach then you then you go down as you are repenting the angel is measuring oh okay he's measuring again he's measuring again and then you rise up in the spirit they, they begin to make that measurement your own measurement may it not decline in the name of jesus Christ. When you watch nations you begin to see the measurement as you're rising as you're rising as you're rising they become global they become global powers they are rising and rise. their glory begins to come out their redemptive purposes begin to find expression until until a son of darkness now sits on the throne all the symptoms of the bondage of corruption and violence you begin to see the economy drop you begin to see people on the streets because there's no job crime rate skyrockets the police is, is the they are they are busy they are busy in some cities you don't the police is handicapped so you need angels <laughs> you will need angels you will need angels the bondage of corruption rolling out darkness becoming customary people coming to terms with philosophies that were alien and they have to live with it this is how it is now new civilizations say the creature 
itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Amen. Wow. There's a liberty. There is a dimension of possibility that is on your life because of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the things you touch, the people you interface with can be brought into that liberty. That's why, that's why you can preach to an unbeliever. And the person feels the touch of the Holy Ghost beyond your words, troubling him. And then he's brought into the same liberty that you enjoy. So we are infectious. We are like a plague. And that's all God has to reclaim the nations, sons of God. Next verse. Verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth. The way sons are made manifest is, is through groaning. So even creation. When, when things, when the bondage of corruption takes hold so much and the weight of that corruption and violence begins to take hold, even creation itself groans. It says, when will we be liberated? You see, you see earthquakes. It's, it's creation is groaning. When shall we be set free? So we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain together until now. Next verse. And not only there, but ourselves also groaning. So we are brought into the groaning. Which are the first fruits of the spirit. We ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to which to wait the redemption of our body. I won't I don't have time to touch this scripture this evening. Next verse. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Next verse. No, go to 26. For likewise. The spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Can you see that the subject matter being discussed here is groaning? That's the subject matter. It means you cannot groan by your intellectual capacity. I know you are a lawyer. I know you are an engineer. But when it comes to groaning, you don't have the knowledge with which to groan. Groaning, true, all true groaning must come from the groaning spirit. Groaning is an invitation that the Holy Spirit makes available so that we can participate in the process by which he bears things. Yes. Because if he wants to produce life, he groans. If a woman wants to give birth, a woman is always happy, smiling every day until the day she is caught up in labor. Oh my God. <laughs> Even if you come to her and say, you, see, you know that, that garment you have, you loved, I just got it. <laughs> Under groaning. <laughs> she can't receive it. If you put it on her, she, because there's something more powerful than that government that is at work. See, the process that produces life has kicked in. Every other thing must wait. When the Holy Ghost wants to produce life, he begins to groan. And when he begins to groan, he, need, he needs partners. So the Bible says, the Spirit also helpeth our families, for we know not what to pray as we ought. The Spirit himself maketh intercession for the saints. How does he do it? He groans. In groaners. So when he wants to produce life, he begins to groan. Then he connects you to the groaning valve so that you too can feel what he does when he produces life. It means you are a co-laborer with him in the protocol of life production. Are you aware, Pastor, that you are strong today because somebody travailed Amen. for you? Yes. Yes. See, Paul says that my children, of whom I travail again in bed, until Christ be formed in. If you find any established person in the ways of the Lord, hey, it happened because there was someone that travelled. Oh, when you find a dogged, rugged preacher, imagine what he would have been if he were not a preacher. Like I know me, I would have been a wizard because I like spiritual things. <laughs> you're not, you're not. You're not full. I would have been I would have been a wizard because I like spiritual things. But somebody travelled. <laughs> don't happen until there is travel. Amen. Oh, when you see an unbeliever on the road, he says yeah, he's doing drugs. He do... Because there's no traveling agent. Yes, wow. Wow. That's the bondage of corruption. Don't advertise it. Amen. What it is saying is that the traveling agent is missing. Yes. When nations die, it is because the traveling agents are missing. Wow. He said before she traveled, she brought forth. 
before her pain came she was delivered of a man child next verse who has heard such a thing who has seen such things shall they have been made to bring forth in one day or shall a nation be born at once for your information a nation can be born at once Amen. how for as soon as Zion travel she brought forth that's how songs are released to generations they are released by travail oh my god oh my god so this is the message i brought that there's a letter that has been addressed to every intercessor in america this is a day of trouble every prophet in the land this is a day of rebuke every willing person every willing woman every willing man everyone that waits for the consolation of the kingdom of god this is a day of blasphemy this is a day that satan must not win Amen. no it's too much at stake the name of our god is at stake Amen. so we can no longer remain in the closet yes. for the children are brought to the birth there is no strength no strength to bring forth oh the encounter some of you have is not because you pray enough okay. but there is a womb that has been traveling so we are going to create a womb for america and as the lord god lives we will see the impact of what we are doing here we will see it travel once upon a time one of my pastors the mom came to my house and she said i've been seeing my son in dreams dead i said no people don't die among us if that's the message you brought here we have heard you but we don't accept it Amen. go away Amen. we don't we don't die here Amen. but after I, she left i called him you know I have, i'm the senior pastor so i have duties i have duties so I called him from the field. I said, come, come stay with me for a while. Yes, sir. You are tired from labor. Come. So we finished prayers in the night. And everybody was going to his room. And he stood up like this. And he fell down. So I took him to the hospital. They ran his scan and saw a tumor in his brain. And those days in Nigeria, there were only two renowned neurosurgeons. I know you know what I'm talking about. Yes. People that can go beyond the Blangata, they, they medulla. <laughs> I'm not saying that there were only two qualified neurosurgeons. That's not what I'm saying. There were quite a number of them. Yes. But if you, if the reason why you're going for the surgery is because you want to leave after the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> you might have other purposes for going for the surgery. <laughs> but if you want to leave, <laughs> then you need to work with these two individuals <laughs> so we secured the attention of one of them he charged us we paid up front paid for everything and we smuggled our pastor as it was in the the theater we were managing the womb mm. yes. we we're managing that womb with fasting yes. my pastor died on the table he died for 38 minutes. The medical physics monitors went flat. We were still, they didn't know how to tell us that he was dead. We we're still managing the womb, 38 minutes. Meanwhile, this doctor is an unbeliever. After 38 minutes, life came back. He is still alive today in that same mission field where they wanted to kill him. He, he, he revived and he said, you know what? Jesus said I should go back. So the wizards of the territory failed. Okay, we okay, he's gone. And they celebrated only for them to see him. <laughs> the people that celebrated about the outcome of this battle early. Yes, yes, yes. Their emotion will change after a while. 38 minutes on the table, dead. His spirit was compelled. Say, no, no, you can't come now. They are willing. 
There's a protocol in the realm of the spirit. Yes. Shall a nation be born at once? We're going to rise in a moment and we're going to will. There's a unit of measurement that must be struck in the realm of the spirit. When we arrive there, mm, if we reach there, then um, I will ask the Lord to bless some of us. So we came here to reach there. There's a unit. He died on the table, but we refused. We said no. And after the surgery, we brought him back. Then I called his mother. I said, your dream was, was true. But God did not reveal that there was danger so that the danger will come to pass. He revealed that there was, a dan there was danger so that the womb can be prepared to, to produce life. She never knew about the surgery, nothing. So you see your son's head. They took his oblangata out to access the, the tumor. He's alive. She began to cry. So he's alive. But she never knew the story. The story of the womb. The story of how food lost peace. The story of tears. When the prayer is no longer articulated. If you are still saying, Oh, monarch of the heavens, everlasting God. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's not what I'm, have you ever seen a woman groan? He doesn't follow the rhythm of the keyboard. Mm. Especially when the groaning is in capital letters. It's not. It's, it's, it's strange. And out of death, death had to give him up. Amen. There are many people in the mortuary that have no business with the mortuary. But there was no womb to insist. He will not die. So today we want to say America will not die. Rise up on your feet. Let's pray together. Please don't be, don't be. You know when we were praying initially, I saw some people looking around. Trust me. Nobody. We didn't notice you when you were. You are, we didn't notice. We are caught up. Don't look around. You are the only one looking around. We have not noticed anything. The only thing we notice is God, Jehovah. Let that be your posture. I have seen death go backward. Oh, Jesus. I've seen it go backward because we insisted. The Lord will prevail in this matter. His will will be done. His kingdom must come. His name must be glorified. And suddenly, those that were meant for death, they were turned unto life. Those that labored under curses were released into brightness. Those that walked in darkness, they saw a great light america we gathered because of you america you will not die america live 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 for it is the will of jesus for you to still be his strong man in the nations can we cry to him in a moment that's why we came that's why we came. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> we thank God for a man like our apostle Arimazaya that God has sent among the body of Christ. We see in this uh, video, he did not particularly may mention of uh, um, Donald Trump as the person he's praying for. But everybody knows, he knows that we know that he's talking about him and that Africa, uh, America will not fail. He said they've won before. But this time around, let it be that they lose that 30. So that's when he was made in, ma making mention of a, a guy that was revived within 30 something minutes. It's too enough for America to arise. And uh, we thank God for this great man of God that God has risen among us, that God has used to bless the body of Christ. We pray that God will begin to increase them in our midst. And American and at large, Africa at large, the whole world will be saved. I will be filled with the glory of the Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. This is Kingdom of the TV channel. Please do well to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. Also, drop your comment at the end when you watch this video. Drop your opinion. We want to know it. Thank you and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. I love you. Bye. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs>